Hello and welcome to another update video about ADA. So what did ADA do directly after my last um, video? Yeah, it did indeed break out to the upside as expected in this wave three. Yeah, the target was reached. I gave you a 54 cent level for the wave three to be reached. And indeed, I think we got there just about. Let's take another look. Yeah, we got to 53.8, yeah, so pretty much there. Uh, can we consider this wave three as complete? I think so, but I'd like to make a few small changes here to the wave count. Um, again, it doesn't change anything in the direction or anything. It just, yeah, accounts for all these sub waves here, which I think is quite important in the current environment. But here again, you know, you can see here, you know, a lot of people in the comments said, ah, we're not gonna break out because we have this ascending wedge. This is a bearish pattern. Well, yeah, you can normally consider these bearish patterns, but in the Elliott waves, or in the Elliott wave method, there are, strictly speaking, no wedges. Yeah, you're not talking about an ascending or a descending wedge. All you're talking about is maybe a leading diagonal, an ending diagonal, and um, in the end, um, patterns in Elliott wave aren't that relevant. Yes, I use them sometimes in addition, but in this case, it just shows you again that here the Elliott waves did win and not the pattern. Now where are we now so what i would like to do we obviously started here after that swing low of 48.9 cents that's by the way the level that definitely needs to hold for us to stay in this imminently bullish scenario now and again i can only give the bullish scenario overall currently a 60 percent probability because we are still so early in a possible uptrend so at the moment what i like to do i like to give this at the moment here a wave too low here yeah and then we, we're moving up still in this wave three yeah so i have to change now a little bit here the uh, just the wave count and degrees that might get a bit messy but we want to keep it um we want to keep it tidy and we want to keep it um obviously according to the rules, right? So we had here three waves, and then I think what we've seen here in the further progress was another wave one, just to account for all these overlaps, you know, another wave one. Yeah, here, and then we've seen here another wave two. And here we are also now waiting for the wave three to play out, or these wave threes. Well, I think it's it's good for everybody who's not that familiar with the Elite waves, just to show you how all of this adds up. Yeah, and that in the beginning of a possible bull run, you're seeing all these one twos adding up. So, so now I just need to think. Where were we? One two, one. I know this was a one two, then we had the just think we had here a one two. Yeah, and then we had here the one two. And then we've got here the one and the two. Yeah, and now the target that we actually reached was here the yellow wave two. At uh no wave three of course. Yeah. So we could consider this now as complete unfortunately strictly speaking i cannot one two ah oh yeah i think i need to introduce another one too reason is that we had the overlaps here so again this is micro counting here we still do it This is, however, a potentially very, very bullish setup for ADA. Yeah. All these one twos. <clears throat> and now we are in this wave five here. Wow, okay, so that means we have to push much higher here for those. So first of all, we now expect the wave five here to play out in pink. That would need to go higher than 53.8 cents. Yeah, then here for the um, yellow wave three, what would we expect as a target for that one? Uh, 
And now I'd, I'd rather go here with the um, yellow. I'd rather go here with a 2.618 extension. Yeah, 56 cents. Could even be the 200% at 54.7. 54 so where I would expect the price to get into, and this is micro counting at the moment, but um, 54.7. To 56 so somewhere here I would expect in this wave 3 and this wave 5 the price to land ideally next okay um, yeah, this is what it should do ideally we can reduce it down a little bit to the resistance of the previous high here the wave 2 and from here then I would expect um, a wave 4 in yellow to the downside a wave 5 up that would finish off the white wave 3 and then we're taking it further to finish off the green wave three. That is sort of where we currently are with ADA. Um, you can see all those subwaves playing out, those one, two setups, one, two, one, two, one, two, and how they all add together. It's important to understand all of these in order to make the correct forecasts. And um, all of this remains valid as long as these wave twos hold. As soon as you lose one wave two, you're falling back to the high level wave count, yeah? So the most imminent one that needs to hold is here actually the uh, 51.4 cent. Then we've got the 50.7. Then we've got 50.4. And then 49.4. And the most relevant here short term is the 48.9 cent level. So at the moment, as long as we hold these, the focus can be on higher. Okay. All right. So hopefully you like the update. If you did, please hit the like button. Leave a comment, subscribe and check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.